but if I wrote pi and I wrote the square root of 7 and I wrote the square root of 5 and then I wrote 1 eighth and I asked you which numbers are irrational what would you say well think about what an irrational number is an irrational number is a number that can't be written as a simple fraction and a simple fraction is like this one eighth one eighth is one rational number over another and when that happens you can think of this as one integer that's our symbol for integers over another so any positive or negative whole number over another positive or negative whole number if you can reduce it to that form then yes that is a rational number right rational number so this one is rational pi is a famous irrational number there's no way to rate no way to write pi as a simple fraction or as a ratio of two whole numbers you can't do it there is no fraction that that equals right or no simple fraction that is equivalent to the number of pi and in fact the same is true for the square root of seven and the square root of five those are both right irrational and the and part of the reasoning is here that you're taking two whole numbers seven and five you're taking the square root of those two whole numbers and they're between two and three right because two squared they're between two squared two and three excuse me because two squared is four and three squared is nine and these numbers are between there right but when you start with a whole number a nice whole number like seven or a nice whole number like five and you try and take the square root and realize it's between two numbers that's a hint that it's going to be an irrational number and can never be written as a simple type of fraction here all right thanks a lot